if you're a growing brand or maybe a shrinking brand or you're facing a merger and acquisition, if you have changed locations or names, if you've added or contracted clinics, it's time to really make sure your brand strategy still makes sense. So what things are you going to look at when you evaluate your brand strategy? First of all, look at the competitive landscape, not just the players right in your market, but those that might be sending services into your market. I would also include a few aspirational brands that you just love that are in the same niche. Really evaluate, what do they do? What do you do? What do you love that they do? Where are they taking market share from you? Where are they outperforming? Where are you outperforming? The point of the assessment is to really identify where are your opportunities, what makes you different than them, and what are the challenges or blind spots that you might have in your strategy? Doing this every couple of years is really important, particularly in community health, in rural areas, in some of the smaller systems, there is constant change taking place. So it's important that you review your competitive landscape. Second of all, review what's changed with your organization. Now this might sound the same as what I just said, but maybe you have new leaders or you have new specialties or you have lost specialties. I've seen a trend where a lot of rural hospitals are eliminating their maternal health and labor and delivery units because of some national requirements that they must have somebody on 24 seven, even when there aren't births 24 seven in a rural area. So what are the changes that are happening in your service operations, in your leadership, in the focus of your organization? I would also make sure you understand what are the most important revenue drivers and the most important focus for your organization. The third thing you want to look at is your geography, your geopolitical influences, and what's changing around you. Maybe in your city, everything's expanding north and all of the new growth and developments are happening there. Do you have a clinic there? If not, how are you going to get them to you? Maybe, you know, some of the small towns that we worked with before in the Pacific Northwest, some of the changes around the spotted owl and the logging industry and some of those geopolitical things changed the entire area forever. It changed the population, it changed the age, it changed the workforce, it changed the economics of the area. That's what I'm talking about with geopolitical. I even would go as far as looking at what has structurally changed around your organization. We had one system that I worked with that was had urgent care clinics in different locations. There was a massive revision that got made to the roadways and the lights surrounding this urgent care clinic so that now you could only reach it from one direction on a four-way light. Okay, that changes a lot of things. If it's too complicated to get in there, you're going to have to explain it. You're going to have to warn. Your signs might change where they are, all of that. So make sure that you're reviewing those kinds of things as well. And then when you're looking at your brand, when you've laid out your competitors, take a look at your logo mark, your colors, your fonts, your messaging. How does it stand up next to those? Does it still look relevant? Does it still look fresh and contemporary or trustworthy or does it match the things that you say about your organization? We had a recent client that was like 27 year old brand and they're trying to compete with some bigger, really known brands in the industry. And when we laid out their logo, it looked old. It looked dated, it looked unsophisticated, and yet 
this professional service provider needed to look like they were on it. So we did a brand refresh and we kept basically the same colors, but we gave them a new look and even renamed them to be what the nickname they had been using about themselves all along. We renamed it and they have a whole fresh look that now when you lay next to all the competitors is like awesome. So that's important to look at as well. And then I would look at what are your customers and your staff saying? Do you know what's important to them? What are the things that your staff are really proud of? What are the things that maybe they're embarrassed by? Those are important things to know when you are addressing a brand strategy. Don't overlook the feedback of your customers. Don't overlook the feedback from your staff when you're looking at what is your brand strategy. It's not just about the logo. It's about is your logo, your brand, your voice, your message, your storytelling, and your strategy. Are all of those aligned around your purpose as an organization? And are they saying the message that you need them to say.